if you're unable to take care of the problem, your coin returns working properly, you've cleaned all your sensors, and the coins are still dropping through, it could be that your coin mech is not programmed properly. So we're going to take a look at programming our coin mechs. Um, if your coin mech is programmed properly, then you probably have a faulty coin mech. It needs to be sent in for repair. So this coin mech is the MEI, it's a CF7000. It has replaceable cartridges. We're going to look at how to program one of these cartridges to accept the kind of coins you want. Um, when I have, for instance, if I have, say, an 85 cent item, I'm going to want two rows of nickels, a row of dimes, a row of quarters, and I like to have a row of dollar coins as well in here. If you need to program your MEI CF7000, this is how it is done. As an interesting side note, the MEI CF7000 cannot be programmed in a View 30 or View 40 made by Vindo. For some reason, the programming will not take if that coin mech is in one of those machines. So, we go to Menu. Then we go to Cassette. We can either enter a code or a coin. Now this cassette originally was cassette model BA. So we would go to B and A. And then it shows that BA is quarter, quarter, nickel, quarter, quarter. And we would hit accept. Operation complete. OK. But if, like with our company, you don't have prices that are just a dollar or a dollar twenty-five, dollar seventy-five, and you're going to need other types of coin tubes besides a nickel tube and four quarter tubes, you're going to need to either know the code to program it or you can program it with coins. This is how you program it with coins. You go to menu, you then once again press cassette, and when it says enter code or coin, you drop a coin in. I'm going to drop in a quarter, and it says select quarter tubes. In this particular machine, my quarter tubes will be C and D. So I press C and D. You hear it click when I press them, and it shows 25 cents in either one of those areas. Um, now it says insert coin. We do not hit next. Instead, we insert a coin. If we press next, it'll take us out of this programming. We drop our nickel in, and it says select nickel tubes. Our nickels are in E and B, so I press E and B. And it shows that E and B are now nickels, and it says insert coin. I'm going to drop my dime in. A is my dime tube. I press A, and it shows I've now programmed them all. Now I can press next, or if I was going to do a dollar tube, I'd also drop a dollar in and program a dollar tube. It shows E is a nickel, A is a dime, B is a nickel, quarter, quarter, either cancel or accept. I'm going to accept. Operation complete. OK. I've now completed this operation and programmed this coin mech for these actual tubes. So with our ME i7000 if we have a problem with coins not dispensing what we're going to want to do is go to menu and park now you see each of these moved and that is to clear out anything that might be stuck in there. We want to make sure that these all work. And that's how simple it is. You go to menu and park. Those seem to be working fine. We put our cassette back in. Right now it's checking tubes. It says everything's okay. We also want to make sure that the machine is dispensing from each tube properly. You can do that by pressing each of the buttons to have it dispense coins. If the coins do not dispense, you want to take a look at why a coin's not dispensing.